Hello everybody, my name is Natalie and welcome to a new episode of To Do Fine Online Magazine. This magazine consists of three sections, English, Show Business and Report. In the first section, we are going to present a comical sketch. In the second section, we are going to present updated information about music and how this affects in the Lohana community. In the third section, we are going to present how teenagers behave in, in society and why do teenagers use drugs. Let's start. In a wave full of English learning offers, One Man's Academy, Fast Learning Programs, and Garage Institute comes the worst of all. The Gringo Feliz Center, where learning English is not an option. This is a story about a Mexican student that got the opportunity to study in England. Nevertheless, she isn't good at English and she doesn't have fluency. Good morning, students. Today we have a new student in our class. Chat here with kindness. Hola, Ah, uh, Sorry, sorry. Hi, I'm Arana and I'm going to study here with us. She can even speak illiterate. Mari, please stop that. Please, sit here. Thank you. Oh my god, she's so ugly. What is you doing? You don't know me. I am very friendly, but I can still kill you. It was a beautiful day until you arrived. You're a parasite. Hey, what happened with you? You are such a bad person. Silence, please. You're awful, like her. Okay, classroom. Uh, we start today with the topic, common mistakes. Okay, student, you can go to the break now. Hey, Anna. Do you want to go to the break with me? Thank you, comadre. You're very kind to defend me. They are ugly girls and they eat sticks. At least, we don't look and smell like them. Student, how was your break? It was awful. We had parasites inviting our school. Please, if you continue with this behavior, I will you report you to the director and your parents. No, teacher, please. Okay, student. Make prayers and start doing your classwork. Mary, work with Anna and Olivia, work with Charlotte, please. Really? Why do I have to work with this loser? Stop making noise and start doing your activity, please. Mari, do you have a piece of paper? No, I don't have. Can you ask the parasite if she has? Parasite, I'm a That is not my name. What do you want? Do you have a piece of paper? What are you asking for? Are you there? She wants a piece of paper. No, no, don't read you in that way. You're right, Charlotte. I get tired of you too. I'm going to talk with Laura Bozo, sorry, with the teacher, and take your piece of, of paper. Mister. After a few weeks later, Olivia and Mary apologized to Anna and they became friends. Come on, girls. Teenagers face real concerns between 13 and 19 years of age on a daily basis and this, as this is the most anger uh, growth stage of their lives. Their feelings have to be validated and that validation comes from their parents. And this is the most difficult uh, stage of their lives and they uh, parents uh, have to approach to there and uh, in a friendly manner to discuss their concerns. Parents need to approach to their children who have been dealing with uh, the growth issues of, uh, of their teenagers. Also, they have to be carefully and in a friendly manner to discuss their concerns. Uh, it's crucial that the teenagers feel more confident with themselves. Uh, this part of their lives is very difficult. They are passing a uh, poverty and change hormonal. 
But the first point to analyze is why the, do teenagers use drugs? And sometimes the teenagers feel alone at home at the high school, and the parents uh, work full time and uh, forget to have a good relationship and communication with her sons. Another reason is the social pressure in the high school. The teenagers uh, believe if they consume drugs, they could be more popular and feel more confident. Some teens uh, consume drugs to develop high levels of concentration. As a result, they can get good grades. And some teens also consume drugs to auto-medicate. In a study realized by the National University of Loja, 530 students, 280 women and 250 men consume the first drug for many reasons. The three most important factors are the curiosity, friendship influences and family problems. Followed by marijuana, the 22% of male teenagers consume it and in the female teenagers is the 48.92%. However, with the consumption of alcohol, the 60% of male teenagers consume it and the 48.92% of female teenagers. In 2018, K-pop fever has already infected young people all around the city. Young people were cultivated for the catchy rhythm, the synchronized choreographies, and the personalities of K-pop idols. In many of our schools, uh, this music has been implemented in some of the events, even in cultural events. In our local dance academies, uh, this music has been implemented to the programs. Culture is very important because some of the influencers of K-pop make a big impact in the art and the way that people try to imitate the costumes and the way as they dress. Uh, the culture is based on how they celebrate Christmas and New Year. Finally, the application of cosmetics uh, such as creams that try to look similar as the appearance of these influencers. Yeah, that's all for today. I hope that this program will be to your liking. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us in the social media. My name is Natalie and until the next time, be to do fine.